All right, we're here with episode four, which is Ninjas Torn by Memories. Now, the thing is, chapter three was relatively long, so I'm surprised about that. And now we're heading into chapter, episode four, rather. So this is called A Strange Light. Are you okay, Boruto? It, yeah. What are we going to do now, though? She got away. A ninja, a ninja world, world missing individual memories. memories. In other words, a ninja, a ninja world, world without, without memories is about to be born. What? <laughs> Who are you? Come with me if you wish to stop this chaos. Guess we check it out. What is this place? There aren't any other players. It seems like a separate place from where we were before. Everything looks like the real world. You're right. Welcome, Welcome to the Time, Time Reservoir. Reservoir. Who are you? I'm Tonori Otsutsuki. You could say that I'm the supervisor of this planet. Otsutsuki? Hold on. Don't tell me that you're with Momoshiki. I'm not like them. I'm here to help you. Help us? Can we trust you? That is up to you. However, you have no way to better this situation right now. That's why, despite your suspicions, you followed me here. Am I right? Boruto? This person really doesn't seem to be an enemy. Yeah. He feels different from them. It's true, we don't have any options. And I guess you seem different. Does that mean you trust me a little? Yeah, but if you do anything funny, I'm gonna... I won't be doing anything. Just offering a bit of help. Rather, there is much I will ask you to do, if we're going to make it through this. About that, is it really possible to stop this chaos? Yes, but it will not be easy. Recovering all of the memories people have built up until now will require a significant amount of time. What's more, the amount of memory that has been lost is astronomical. Normally it would take decades, or even centuries. Then there's really no way. However, there is one thing about this current world in our favor. And that is your father. Naruto Uzumaki. My dad? Although the amount may vary quite significantly, your father is in the memories of nearly everyone alive right now. His power is so great it goes beyond wars, and is accepted by everyone. A power that could only be because he is Naruto Uzumaki. We will be using that. Using what? First, I will have you go back to the past, and retrace Naruto's history. You can retrieve his memories there. Go back to the past? How? 
It is possible if we use this mysterious space's unique properties with the power of Otsutsuki. A book? However, only one person can go to the past. What's more, they will be unable to interfere with any of the events there. If it's the only way, then I guess we just have to do it. If you're able to recover Naruto Uzumaki's memories, I will be able to release them. The released memories will spread from him to others. Once they have rippled out far enough, the lights will shine again. And everyone's memories will return. Got it. Although, it seems like it's going to take a while. We should go back and report to my dad first, then. I'd like to go over the situation and figure out what we're gonna do. Yeah. You should hurry. There's not much time left. You know, I hate this time travel stuff. You're back. Welcome back, Boruto. Wait, you... Yes, they haven't been affected either. Mom, Dad, everyone went crazy. Just when I was thinking about what to do next, Katasuke came up to me. We heard about everything. We'll be helping you guys too. I mean, the ninja world depends on us after all. So? What happened? It, yeah, actually... So you let her get away? Sorry. You can apologize later. We still have things we can do. Focus on that for now. Recovering memories? Seems like we should hurry. We were looking into the situation on this side while you were in the game. The Hidden Leaf Ninja have all left the village and are seconds away from going to war. It's the same with the other villages. They've all taken similar action. Every village is under Merz's mind control. Crazy. We don't have much time. We'll be splitting up into three groups. One will search for Zero's hideout on this side. Another team will return to the other side and begin recovering the memories. Sasuke, let me handle the memories. I'm part of the reason this all happened. And besides... If someone needs to retrace Naruto's history, you're the one most suited to do it. You got it. Sarada and the rest will go search for the hideout. Gather as much information as you can and determine its location. You make it sound so easy. Are we going to be able to find it without any leads? Hmm. My dad always said that you'll be able to find anything you're looking for if you start sifting through the straw. Straw? We know that this Zero organization has been really active lately. That means that they're probably sending out spies, running experiments, or have been doing other things that have brought them to the surface. He said that that's when people get careless and make mistakes. If you can find a mistake, you might be able to catch them by the tail. Where do we start? How about you look into recent missions? If there's any unsolved and suspicious missions, you might find a lead. Missions? Oh. Hey, Sarda, speaking of missions... Right. I just remembered, too. It might be connected. What? What are you talking about? We'll tell you more about it later. Dad, have you used Susano in a fight lately? No. Then that place really is suspicious. I think it's worth looking into again. Where are you going, Sasuke? I'm going to slow down Naruto. Once he joins in the war, there will be massive casualties. I'm the only one who can stop him. Take this. It's a communication device. You'll be going to the other side. Please contact us with this as soon as you get back. Thanks. 
We all have our missions. Let's go. Let's do this. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'll get back my dad's memories. Take this, Boruto. The light will likely return if you follow Naruto's memories. When that light shines strong, your father's memories are returning. If that happens, I just need to hand it to you, right? Exactly. Okay. Now go to your father. Get back Naruto Uzumaki's memories. Whoa, so I'm going into the past like this? You're going back in time to retrace the memories of Naruto Uzumaki. I'll be your guide. The nine-tailed fox spirit was sealed within your father by the fourth Hokage. And that's where Naruto's memories begin. With nine tails residing within him, Naruto dealt with persecution from the villagers. But in spite of his burden, he stayed strong hanging on to a dream to one day become the Hokage. After graduating from the Ninja Academy, Naruto was assigned to Team 7 with Sasuke Uchiha and Sakura Haruno. The head of Team 7, Kakashi Hatake, held a training session to assess their abilities. Historically speaking, it was nothing more than a trivial competition. But to Naruto, it was his important first step to finding his ninja way. Huh? This will be nothing like your previous training. It's a test to see what you can actually accomplish as a Genin. Did he say test? What? Of the 27 graduates, only nine will be accepted as Genin. And the chance that you'll fail is at least 66%. Seeing everything happen like this, could this mean I'm inside my dad's body? That's right. From this point on, you'll experience the life of Naruto Uzumaki, directly from his point of view. This is how you'll collect his memories. I get it, but this feels pretty weird. They're about to start. Dang it! Well, I'm not gonna be weeded out! Let's get started here. Don't, don't, don't get too scared when you see how tough I am. Dad's so determined. The ninja is quite special to Naruto. It's the first step to achieving his dream. Okage. I know what happens after this, since his dream actually comes true. It just reminds me how amazing Dad is. His connection to Sasuke Uchiha and Sakura Haruka grew deeper as soon as he joined the team seven. Back then, Naruto saw Sasuke, an elite student, as his rival and seemed to have a crush on Sakura. <laughs> well, she's a close friend of the family now. Wow. So this is where it all started. Eventually, he would fight in numerous battles and become a figure of central importance in the major world. 
Oh, what the? My body is... You're done collecting memories here. On to the next one. But wait, what happened to Dad and the others after that? Kakashi Hatake wasn't actually testing their strength. He just wanted to make sure they understood teamwork. Since they easily met his expectations, he officially welcomed them to Team 7. <laughs> of course they did. It is those three, after all. From there, they took on various missions as ninja. The life of a ninja is full of danger. And this is the first time Naruto fought a life-or-death battle. Don't hold it against me. I had no other choice. I'm on this, Sasuke! Don't hold me back! It's the land of waves. In modern times, this spot is known as the Great Naruto Bridge. There was a great battle here to prevent the bridge from being built. Team 7 is taking on two ninja hell-bent on ending its construction. One is known as Zabuza Momuchi, and the other is Haka. You see fighting now had a special ability called the Keke Genkai, allowing him to manipulate ice style. So, he becomes a ninja and he's already fighting guys like this? On to the next point in time. Hmm. Haku lived as Zabuza's tool of violence, yet in the end, Naruto was able to show Zabuza how much Haku cared for him. Seeing the way Haku and Zabuza died was a turning point in Naruto's life. With this experience under his belt, Naruto moved on to his next encounter. Against a ninja feared by many, known as Gara of the Sand. Oh, good old Gara. What's the matter? Do I scare you? You should only love yourself and fight for yourself. That is the definition of strength. I thought he was strong, because he only fought for himself. And he was always alone. That's not what real strength is all about. But yes! So Dad and old Gara are fighting each other. The clash between two enormous villains, the leaf and the sand. Caused the destruction of the leaf. Gara was the secret weapon of the hidden sand, due to the tailed beast known as Shukaku, sealed within him. A tailed beast? Just like Dad. Correct. He was in the same situation as Naruto, holding a tailed beast inside and being persecuted by the villagers. Not through the Oh, well, Gara has some killer attacks, huh? At this point in Gara's life, he couldn't trust anyone. But the one to soften his closely guarded heart was none other than Naruto Uzumaki. This battle goes on forever. After encountering Naruto, Gara began to walk in the light. And I'm sure you know what happened after that. Uh-huh. He was accepted by all the villagers and became Kazikage. Naruto's spirit has influenced so many around him. Some are guided to the light as Gara was, while others have drifted toward darkness. Sasuke chose the latter path. Naruto reached out to Sasuke in a desperate attempt to stop him. 
He considered Sasuke an irreplaceable friend. Why, Sasuke, why? Huh? How could it have come to this? I don't understand! I have my own path to follow. My own goals are all that matter. Sasuke was out to kill his older brother in touch. It was his long-standing desire for revenge. Yet at the same time, he was a strong man to do it. And that's why he left the hidden leaf? Sasuke had been by Orochimaru. Sasuke believed that Orochimaru could make him strong enough to defeat his brother. Sasuke became resentful of Naruto's rapid progress as a ninja, and it pushed him toward that path. At any rate, Sasuke was greatly troubled, and he made the bitter decision to leave after much thought. Naruto was special to Sasuke as well. He was those red considered a close friend. Yet he was willing to sever that connection. In search of the power he needed to kill his older brother. What did Sasuke have against his brother? His clan, the Uchiha, was destroyed by Itachi. Sasuke was filled with hatred because of it. Did that actually happen, though? These are all facts that have been covered up. The desires and ambitions piled up for years which ultimately shape our history. Sasuke. Dad. I continued to go back and forth without a decisive result. It provoked Naruto to unleash his ultimate power, using everything in his repertoire. He was still unable to stop Sasuke. Naruto refused to give up. Once his next chance had surfaced, he immediately took action. He decided to embark on a journey to train together with his new master, Jiraiya, the legendary Sanin. And several years later, history would once again grow turbulent. To think those two had such a crazy past. I never knew about any of this. <laughs> <laughs>